The AFCON is the most vibrant football festival in Africa in contrast to Europe, where there is ongoing discussion on whether the UEFA Champions League is more prestigious and greater than the Euro Championship. Even though their names would draw a crowd anywhere on the continent, some of the greatest African football players have never been able to secure an AFCON medal despite having an outstanding career before retiring. From January 13 to February 11, 2024, in Côte d'Ivoire, the Africa Cup of Nations will take place. African athletes aiming for their first continental title, like Mohamed Salah and Victor Osim Hen, dream of lifting the trophy and flaunting it. We present to you 10 legendary players who have never taken home the trophy. Nwankwo Kanu Being one of the luckiest, the brightest, and most gifted football players to emerge from the continent, Kanu defied the stereotype of an African football player by lacking physicality. However, the legendary player from Nigeria and Arsenal displayed the most devastating deft touches in the game. In place of that, there are very few male African football players, either active or retired, who can match Kanu's record of trophies as the most decorated Nigerian player in history. During his playing career, the 47-year-old, affectionately known as Papilo, won three Dutch Eredivisie titles, one Intercontinental Cup, one Dutch Super Cup, and one UEFA Champions League title. Kanu moved to England with Arsenal in 1999 and won two Premier League titles, three English FA Cup titles, and one English Super Cup. He led Nigeria's under-23 team to the historic football gold medal at the 1996 Olympic Games, in which Nigeria became the first African nation to achieve the feat. Although he never took home an AFCON the title, the former captain of the Super Eagles is the only player from Nigeria to have won the African Footballer of the Year award twice in 1996 and 1999. Didier Drogba After moving from Olympique Marseille in France to Chelsea in 2004, Drogba rose to legendary status in African football. It seems somewhat inconceivable that he never won an AFCON championship after making 105 appearances for the Elephants of Cote d'Ivoire and scoring 65 goals for his country. The former captain of the Ivory Coast is regarded as one of the most lethal attackers to have played in the Premier League. He won multiple league titles, FA Cups, and one unforgettable UEFA Champions League title while playing for Chelsea. He also came very near to winning the UEFA Cup, which Marseille lost to Valencia in the final, before he moved to Chelsea in 2004. Despite having a strong European profile and being among Africa's greatest ever, he was never able to help Ivory Coast win the AFCON. He was a member of the Ivory Coast teams that advanced to the tournament finals in both 2006 and 2012. Unfortunately, both times, the Elephants lost on penalties. Drogba was also a two-time CAF Player of the Year. El Haji Diouf it's easy to argue that players like Diouf were instrumental in Senegal's comeback to prominence in African football. He was the Taranga Lions arrowhead in the early 2000s and had a reputation as a tough, combative, forceful, and talented player throughout his career. Among the group of players that included Salif Diaw, Omar Daff, Henry Kamara, Omar Daff, Ferdinand Kohli, Aliou Sissi, Kalilu Fadiga, and others, he was the most well-liked. In 2002, when they lost the title match in Mali against Cameroon on penalties, Diouf and his teammates came dangerously close to taking home the greatest honor in African football. Unfortunately, it would be the first and last time the Senegalese team's golden generation would ever come near to winning the tournament. The team's remarkable skill set was further highlighted when they upset the highly regarded French squad in the opening match of the 2002 FIFA World Cup in Korea, Japan. The legendary African football player who never took home the AFCON trophy now includes the former striker for Liverpool. Michael Essien Essien, one of the best players to have come out of Ghana, overcame hardships and poverty to become well known. In every game, Essien would cover every blade of grass since he was a fierce combatant 
and a great football player. Chelsea provided a platform for African football players like him to rise from modest beginnings to become global superstars, with several other African football players. The 2006 BBC African player could only finish runner-up because Ghana lost to Egypt, who won their seventh title in Angola, despite being a member of the exciting and invincible Black Stars squad at the 2010 AFCON. George Weah, can anything positive come out of Israel, is what the symbol Weah implies. When he was on the field, the former Liberian president stood for force, strength, agility, dexterity, intelligence, and the European grace of an African football player. He took up the responsibilities of the senior national team for many years. For years, he served as their commander and unifying factor. Wea is the only African to have ever won the coveted Ballon d'Or, which serves as a constant reminder of how outstanding he was as a football player. Although he was also voted CAF a player of the year in 1989 and 1995, his little country will always be a challenge for him on the global arena. He could only help Liberia qualify for two AFCON editions, 1996 and 2002, and on both occasions, they crashed out in the group phase. Asamoah Gyan. It's said that a prophet has no honor in his own nation, and Gyan most likely fits the bill. Despite being frequently vilified by his own people for failing to convert the penalty against Uruguay that would have advanced Ghana to the FIFA World Cup semi-final. In 2010, his goal total speaks for itself. Guyan, also referred to as Baby Jet, currently has the most goals scored by an African player in a World Cup, six. Ghana has had trouble finding a striker like him since he left the national team Yet despite all of his accomplishments, the AFCON has remained his weak point. The 2010 BBC African Player of the Year lost two finals, 2010 and 2015, and the Black Stars have not won the tournament since 1982. Emmanuel Adebayor Playing for some of the greatest clubs in Europe, Adebayor is without a doubt the most well-known footballer in Togo's history. The 39-year-old had stints as a player with Tottenham Hotspur, Manchester City, Real Madrid, Arsenal, and other teams. During his 32 goals and 87 appearances for the Togolese senior national team, he was the team's most recognizable player. However, the 2008 African Player of the Year could not lift the AFCON with Little Togo. He qualified them for the 2006 edition after emerging top scorer during the qualifiers with 11 goals, but the team could not make it out of the group phase. Mustafa Haji Many Nigerians would recall Haji as the Moroccan who won the CAF Men's Best Player title in 1998. Despite the fact that Austin J.J. Okocha, a midfielder from Nigeria, was the overwhelming favorite to win the trophy following his spectacular performance at the FIFA World Cup in France. Okocha can find comfort, though, in the knowledge that he won the AFCON in 1994, during his very first participation in the competition. Haji, the team's cutting edge in the late 1990s, was unable to assist his nation in winning the tournament, though. The 1998 AFCON quarterfinal was the furthest Morocco could go with the 1998 African Player of the Year award. Frederick Canute, another player who won the African Player of the Year but failed to lift the utmost football prize on the continent, is former Mali skipper Canute. Canute made his name at Tottenham Hotspur and Sevilla, attaining almost a legendary status at the La Liga club, for whom he scored 89 goals in 209 appearances. The 2007 African Player of the Year could only help Mali to the semi-final of the AFCON in 2004. Samuel Osei Kufour. Unquestionably, one of the greatest African football players of all time is Osei Kufour, who won numerous club trophies but was never given the chance to win the AFCON. Despite participating in five Nations Cups with Ghana, Kufour, a centre-back, has never won the competition. He is a Champions League winner with Bayern Munich, where he has also won numerous Bundesliga titles. 
Even though he was a member of the team that competed for the Black Stars in their first World Cup appearance in 2006, Kufour's career was coming to an end as the West Africans made their first of many AFCON semi-final appearances. Known for his physical power, the former defender is best remembered for his time with Bayern, whom he represented for over a decade, winning a total of 14 honors and playing in nearly 250 official matches. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.